Welcome back, Metal T Sales Corpus Seventy Two. Take a look at the Happy Well um, 3D puzzle set here of the new Fifty Two Justice League um, main members. And this time, take a look at Green Lantern. Um, as you see, the box there shows you Green Lantern with the puzzle with lightweight finish. And as I'm gonna point out again, I love this little symbol there and insignia going to the character. Um, side, same thing, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, showing you the other people in the set, which is the main members, as I mentioned. You go Flash off and uh, Cyborg. On the back here, you have how you will be assembling the puzzle and what the finished product looks like. So, let's pop the box open and just take a quick look inside. So, as I mentioned in my other videos, and this is the first of my videos of the 3D puzzle set that you're watching, basically, you have all the pieces in here. There you go. Oh, this one's gonna be cool. His mask and the face has to be connected separately. Nice. So basically, take out all the pieces. Um, you'll know you have all the pieces because the instruction booklet here shows you them by number. They each are numbered on the back of the pieces and wearing the pieces. So as I mentioned, the, the easiest way and the best way I find is lining them up in rows of uh, six there from one to ten, of course. And that we have all the pieces ready because when you follow the instructions in the back here showing you how to assemble him it'll make it very very easy to put them together once you have them all lined up so let's put together this emerald archer sorry the emerald archer <laughs> the, the emerald guardian here and see what he looks like emerald archer is a uh, green arrow i hope they, that'd be nice to do a uh, 3d puzzle like him all right so here we have the end result of the green lantern 3d puzzle so it's really really neat um in mass you actually have to put on onto his face everything it's a puzzle so that's what you come to expect as i mentioned before you could see the lines only when you get up close you could tell it's a puzzle if not from distance you can't really tell um my only problem on this green lantern or this puzzles of all of them so far is the fact that one of the pieces weren't actually cut properly I think or it wasn't fitting properly so there's a bit of a raise here that's my only gripe about mine it might be I'm guessing it's only mine so don't go freaking out saying I'm not gonna get these puzzles because they're not gonna fit no they're fine it's just probably mine that has that look like that or I should have like kind of like shave off a bit but I didn't want to risk messing the whole thing up so I just left it as is but from a distance it looks like part of the costume and stuff so I'm really not going to touch it or mess with it at this point. Um, as I mentioned before, they're coming like um, clear versions of these, so I'm going to try to track those down as well. Uh, to pay, let's see, I did this with Aquaman, and look, there you go, now you have another Green Lantern member, our Hal Jordan, and the bald guy. All of them are pretty much like that, even Superman too. All of them have like hair pieces or pieces you have to attach. Except for maybe uh, Batman and the Flash so far, and I think maybe uh, Cyborg, which is going to be my next one to review. <coughs> Excuse me. So, like I said, these should be available at specialty shops if they order them. I mean, you have to get them special order from your favorite comic book shop or specialty shop. Um, I meant to mention the clear versions out there too. And yes, it's really fun, a really nice puzzle. Take your time, it is time consuming. Um, take your time, put it together. And this end result, it's like a little um, affordable mini bus that you can get here for under 20 bucks or so, depending when you purchase them. And a lot cheaper than getting an actual bus, and you don't have to worry about it when it drops or something like that. Most of the time, a piece will fly off, you just put it back together. Um, I mentioned that because just so it gives you an alternative that if you have kids and you want to get them something like this, like uh, for the into really DC uh, superheroes and stuff. This is the perfect thing for them to have on their shelves in the toy room and stuff and you won't have to worry about anything happening to it or damaging it for them and it's fun too so hey why not. So oh, Scorpion72 telling you to enjoy your toys and until next time keep playing. Ciao. Oh there's my hand.